What is going on everybody and welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. I am John the Dwarf. Last time we were here, we had just seen the horrible freaking death of Gabe. It was it was not a good time whatsoever. Nearly it nearly broke you boy. It, it really did. Like it it nearly had me on the verge of tears. Like that was that was sad, man. Like it, it really was. It it almost got it almost got you, boy. But uh, yeah, man. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this uh, episode of Life is Strange. If you're not already scrub, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get right back into this with Life is Strange True Colors episode four. All right, so last time we were here, we were actually about to go look for um, Mac and see what he had to say about Gabe. Right, this game looks freaking amazing. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Okay, Charlotte texted us. Let's see. Alex, I'm so sorry. You don't have to respond, but I wanted to tell you. Thank you for saving Ethan's life. I don't know what I would do if I lost him. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Alex, can you come by my dispensary sometime? I think I need your advice. Sure thing. Okay. Steph also messaged us. Uh, Hey, do you have a sec to swing by the store? Maybe. What's up? Nothing big. I'll tell you when you get here. Smiley face. Okay. Uh... Where do we want to swing by first? Do we want to go by... Actually, we should probably go by the freaking uh, dispensary. Where is where is that at? Well, I was trying to find the dispensary first, but whatever. Record store. Let's get it. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. She's probably back here, dude. Steph's. Touch and die. Oh, okay. Well, we won't touch that. Probably in there, if I had to guess. Yeah, there she is. Knock. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like costumes, foam swords, that kind of thing? Yeah, oh. but designed just for him in Thanor. Oh, bruh. Good idea. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? Heck yeah, he did. So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Ooh. Oh, bruh. Oh man, they're both good. I think I'm gonna go with Storm Rither with Rither with her. I don't. Storm Rither looks like a worthy opponent. Rither with her. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right then. Oh, uh, I gotta get back. Or Rither, or Rither, or Rither, Rither. Make some calls. I'll see what I can do. It's a weird freaking name, but that's that's dope though. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. There it is. It's the Dad silver freaking wants to talk to me. silver dragon, bro. All right. Oh, sorry. Oh. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Yes. Alex, yeah. 
I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thanks. Ah, uh, man. Freaking dude. Ugh. Freaking green tea, man. It's yummy. Charlotte? Alex. Hey. What up, Charlotte? You wanted to see me? Charlotte. I just What's up, Charlotte? Wanted to see how you were doing. <sighs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Keeping my chin up. Sometimes that's all you can do. Yeah. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. Man. I hear he's been having a rough time. He practically just lost father. He's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Stay strong. Stay strong. You'll get through the hard parts. Both of you. Easier said than done, huh? Yeah. No shit. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. Mm -hmm. How big? How, how big? big are we talking? Yeah, how big? I was about to say that, bro. It's send Ethan to college big. Oh. Shit. Are you going to sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? Oh, bruh. Honestly, listen. Right now. Gabe freaking called the mine and told them to chill for a minute. So it was Mac that took that shift. Oh, Mac is looking like a freaking snake, dude. You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. Yeah. That For real. David feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. I really, I'm going to figure out why Mac's lying. Exactly. Let's go freaking see Mac right now, dude. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Guarantee he's not going to be there. How much you on bet? Much you on bet? He's not going to be there. Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Oh, boy. 
I'm okay. I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. Yeah. It's the best way to be. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. He can't have gotten too far. Mm. Got it. God. This game makes me so mad. What the frick? It what? She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. What? Can I go behind the counter? There we go. It wasn't working there for a second. Okay, so we're we're feeling what she's feeling right now. Yeah. Frick is she terrified of, bruh? Okay. Time to figure out why she's afraid. All my memories are fading. I feel Broken. What? The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. Dude. Okay, we already seen the cash register. We saw that. What else is there? If they know about my condition, they'll make me close this place. Oh, crap. Okay, anything else? Ooh. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find out. Find out. What the frick is happening? What can What What is happening? Every like time is passing like really fast. on <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment <laughs> well maybe I can help uh, <sighs> ask Riley does Riley know you could ask her oh no no I can't ask Riley I wouldn't want to her. Retrace your steps. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, 
I don't want to keep you. All right, all right, we're cool. Okay, what would Eleanor have done first? They're gonna make me anything else? No. Did you trim these flowers today? I. I don't remember. We did that <laughs> in the first episode. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. But back here. Did you maybe call someone? I can't say for sure. Did anything happen with Riley? I, I don't know. Dude, this is freaking weird. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Okay. Where's your mail? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Okay. Let's see what we can do second. Maybe the phone? phone call have distracted you? Yep. That's it. First thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Riley. It was Riley. Can find something to remind you. It was Riley. It was Riley. 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 Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Yep. Goodness. What's the order for? Okay, we're getting there. All right. All right. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. Yep. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Who was it? Mr. Jedediah Lucan. Huh. <sighs> hey. Jed. It's like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. Okay. <laughs> I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Jed must be hosting some event. I 
I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. Uh. Tell her. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Guys! Gabe's wake. I missed it. Alex, I'm I'm so sorry. Hey, it's fine. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. Can we... Can we, like... She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. Oh, bruh, dude. I hope it's good news. Dude, that sucks, dude. That sucks bad. All right, where's Mac, Eleanor dude? Said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your chick? Alex, I'm so sorry about before. I really did appreciate your help. It just hit me hard. Don't apologize. It's been hard for us all, for all of us. Yeah. Oh, Mac! There you are. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. Exactly. It's costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe, too? Listen here! Oh, my God. Listen, I get that you're afraid. I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. You just killed my freaking big brother, dog. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. Ooh, bruh. Oh, here we go. Duh, I'm dumb. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Even Riley? Did something happen with her? We're done here. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! We're done here. Time to get the truth. Okay. You hush. <laughs> what the frick, dude? Talk to Riley. Where's where is Riley? I need to talk to Riley. Where is Riley?
Bro, I could text her right now and be like, where are you? Where the frick is Riley, dog? I'm gonna mess up your shot. Oh, you didn't even take it. I wonder if she's back at the flower shop. She could be. Now that we've talked to Mac, she could she could very well be at the flower shop. Okay. That sucked. But at least I told her the truth. No. Freaking dude. What? She's really hurting. But I didn't want to lie to her. Bruh. She in here? No. No, I thought that could have been Riley, but no. See what Pike's up to, dude. Freaking. Hey, Pike. Hey. Um, how you holding up? I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay is good. I think. Yeah. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. Mac Loudon? The guy that showed up at Gabe's place, throwing punches. The safety manager on duty that night is lying to you. That's my statement. I know you're angry, Alex. But it's an ongoing investigation. I'm still going to need to interview you. Sure. Whatever. Oh <sighs> my god. Dude, I've been looking for Riley. I need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Where is Riley? Riley, Riley, Riley. She wouldn't be in here, would she? If she is in here, dude, somewhere, I'm gonna freaking lose it. Like, if there is, there's not an upstairs in this place, is there? There's not an upstairs in this place, is there? At least I told her the truth. Oh, wait. That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. Bruh, listen. Look at that one out there. Look at her. Look at her go. <laughs> Still need to find Riley. I don't know where she's at. Oh, hey, I caved. I freaking looked it up. Uh, she's by the freaking. There she is. Bro, I've been looking everywhere for freaking you. Shh. Hey, Riley. God. Hey. Hey. Mac. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. Ooh. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Exactly.
Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Talking might help, girl. Are you sure? Sometimes talking about it can help you sort it all out. I'm just not there yet. Okay. Uh, Gabe. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. Aww. Glad he had you. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. Eleanor. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's sweet. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Mac. How do I get her to open up? By using your power. Why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Do you want to talk about Mac? Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? Oh! <gasps> oh, she about to, she about to open up? He asked me to leave Haven with him. <gasps> what? What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. Ooh. I told him no. And that we were done. And now... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. We... Thank you for telling me. Oh, bruh! You deserve the truth. Oh, bruh! There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. Yeah, like go and freaking get the. Oh my god, dude. Talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Bye. <laughs> Trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. It is. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What Riley told me might do it. But I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Nope. Nothing. Confront that man's. Ready. Okay. Let's do this. Nope. Not a thing. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. Oh. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. Oh, you did too. Fuck off! Leave me alone. 
Oh my god. Go after him, Alex. What is happening? What is going on? What? Hello? Or she looked right at that camera. What is happening? I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Bruh, I'm not ending this episode till we get to freaking Mac. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It's because you did kill him, bruh. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. Hmm. All right, Riley. Oh, frick. It should have been you instead. What? Alex? What the frick am I? No. What the hell? There are people out there. No, I told you to call it off. All the way they looked to meet the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. You might not have been the reason he died, but you covering for their fuck up makes you guilty too. You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, and now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Yo. I think I can calm him down. But does he deserve it? Calm him down, dude. All right, Mac. Come on. You got to calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well... You learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> Bruh. So, what are you going to do now? Don't leave Haven. 
I'm gonna get to the truth. breather take a freaking breather dude what are you doing who are you calling who are you calling hey yeah it's can we talk where are you okay Wait, who are we going to talk with? What? Oh, it's Ryan. Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and... It doesn't matter. Oh, bruh. Coming here. And playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. Okay. Ooh. That shot, dude, was freaking eerie. Holy cow. Ooh. Oh. my fault my job is to keep people safe and I failed you saved Ethan you saved Ethan that kid is alive right now because of you she's wrong I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. Neither of us is worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Do not let him walk off that freaking edge. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. Oh 
Oh my freaking god! <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. Yeah. How did you know? He told me, bro. There's something you should know about me. Oh no. It'd be easier to show you than to explain it. Oh no, dude. She's going to tell him. This is going to seem sort of weird at first then really weird do you trust me oh oh bruh think of some sing think of something scary go for it go Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Dude. Come on, bro. Give me that purple aura. Typhon. All of it. You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> this one time. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? All right, we are going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, also wanted to note that um, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 4 p.m. EST. Link will be in the description. All, all of the uh, links to my social medias will be in the description below my newly created Facebook page. I would like you guys to go and uh, follow that. I give updates on my YouTube and I give updates on my Twitch. Um, my TikTok, I post clips from my uh, streams on TikTok. And um, yeah, I would, I would uh, really appreciate you guys if you would go and give your boy some love <laughs> but anyways that's gonna wrap up episode five thank you guys so much for watching and if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and i will see you in the next episode peace